All right, so this is taken on uh, February 19th and February 20th of 2016. I have to do the narration over again because my speakers were emitting some kind of strange noise, uh, which is the second time it's happened this week. I've had some really strange, really, really strange... Um, um, technical things going on around me. I don't know what the fuck the problem is. YouTube's been acting up. Um, um, my speakers have been like, like, I had like some loud, loud, like, it sounded like a portion of a movie or something just come over my speakers for like, like a, like a split second, uh, a few days ago. That was really weird. Just strange things going on. Um, I think after this video is when I the, when the tw it all starts on the twentieth. Um, no, 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 no. This is uh this next video is the last video from the nineteenth, and then the next video will be from the twentieth. You can see this is this is you know they heating up the atmosphere. That's what they're doing. They use an RF to microwave all the all the water, all the you know moisture and shit. They're microwaving the atmosphere. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I can tell when they're doing it because when they are doing it, like I tend to have a difficulty breathing, uh, and I'm a person that does not have a hard time breathing. I um, I practice meditation. I go to the gym almost every single day. Um, you know, I breathe with my diaphragm. I breathe with my stomach. Um, you know, I'm t I don't breathe. You know, what I'm talking about. I don't use my chest or my shoulders like most people do with <laughs> you know they get these short breaths you know they they don't breathe with their belly you know they don't take in full breaths so they're always like exacerbated and you know tensed up and you can actually get injured doing that if you do a lot of physical labor um, by breathing with those because you're putting a, more stress on the muscles than your ch upper upper body than you you know than using this giant muscle that divides your abdomen and your thoracic cavity so I know how to breathe um, so when they're shooting this stuff off I, I think I, I think I have some kind of like I think I have some kind of like reaction to it so um, yeah there's uh this is all uh, from yesterday the 20th and you can see them they're they're spraying in the uh, most heavily in pods that aren't as developed as the rest of the fog. Uh, these aren't clouds. You know, I don't know what people think they're looking up at, you know, when people are driving by. Because I don't see human beings anymore. I just see machines on these black concrete, you know, asphalt roads. I don't see any humans. So, but whatever these people are looking at, you know, this isn't, these aren't clouds. This is fog. You know, they think this is a normal weather. This is all normal. You know, this isn't normal. You're not supposed to see these giant fog. This giant, disgusting fog coverage. You know. Um, and you're not supposed to be seeing planes patching the shit up. Like there's some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of spiders weaving a web. You're not supposed to see that. There's a really thick one right there that's up in that fog. There's a prominent uh, chemtrail. This is all poison. This is all disgusting shit. You can see how dark it is in some areas. This is uh, disgusting, poisonous, um, toxic atmosphere right there. So, you know, and people don't realize either that uh, whenever these, like, 40-degree swings in temperature happen... They don't realize that uh, when those days come, that they're always th that the weather is this. It's always this fog coverage. Uh, since when in history has um, cloud c coverage caused hot temperatures? And I mean hot, as in like midwinter, 60 degree days, you know, or like. You know, it was the same in December, the same in January. You don't, you don't have, you know, you don't have the sun heating anything up. 
You know, the sun isn't heating anything up on the ground, on the surface. All it's doing is hitting these, you know, it's, it's supposed to be hitting these white clouds, which, what does white do? It reflects sunlight, you know, but, com can, you know, combine that with RF and microwave and the shit out of the ozone layer and the, and these, and this moisture, uh, these moist, fog moisture, and you're going to have, uh, like, pretty much a mobile, uh, heating pad like this is a mobile heating pad how do people not understand this how do people not realize that like these hot days it's always covered with this fog you know does that make any fucking sense at all this is how con this is how destroyed common sense is to people this is how dumbed down people are you know they they do they don't even look up they don't even look up. This is how dumb people are in general. Is they just don't look up. And if they did look up, they're not intelligent enough to see patterns or recognize things. You know, they they just. I was listening to this podcast the other day about how people just. Uh, it was talking about like brain. You know how the brain works and it fills things in. You know and uh, how our memories recollect stuff and that from for the most part what people see with their five senses um, is almost nothing compared to what is actually being shown to them how much we actually see versus the information that's available uh, people only see like s the smallest fraction of it and a lot of people actually see in black and white uh, they don't actually look at things hot enough to see in color I don't know what I don't know what all, all this brain technology is but it makes sense to me in a certain way like it's like it's like when you're driving to work and like you f you finally notice this one house that you like you d you've been driving down the same road for like years and you finally notice this like one house that you drove by like where'd that house come from and then like and then now you start seeing it every single day it's like that people don't have pattern recognition anymore um, their patterns all the patterns that they're built into is just work eat grocery store. TV, uh, TV program, you know, they, they have, they're programmed to watch TV at certain times, you know, they, they make sure that they take time out of, their, out of their day to watch certain things at certain times, you know, got to make sure that uh, you, you push everything aside so you can watch TV, you can watch the latest Simpsons episode, you know. I don't know how the fuck people can still even watch that show. Like it's been on since since I've been born, and it's just like I got tired of that shit like over a decade ago. I don't even know, how, like way over a decade ago. This here's a weird, here's a weird pattern I saw in the fog. I was out riding my bike for about three, four hours yesterday, and um, paying a lot of attention to the um, the patterns in the RF. And this is a weird like zipper. It's like a zipper-like pattern. And uh, if you're going by wind direction, that that is um, parallel to the direction that it's going in. So lengthwise, it's actually if you imagine like taking your arms and like uh, or taking like your forearm and like pushing something, that's what that is. It's 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 like hooked on to this like cloud mass, this fog mass. And it's like it's like shoving it in its direction, but if you look at the pattern on how that how the zippers were interlocked with each other, like it doesn't make any sense how that those lines would be in that direction. Like it has to like that's not a natural formation, you know what I'm saying with the with the wind. And the thing is, the wind or at least the movement of these things are never the same as the wind pattern or as the wind on the ground. Um, I know that th th this is like high up, but these th these clouds don't look that high up, you know. And I know that there is different weather up there and stuff, but compared to um, the ground, I mean, this was going southwest or like south um, towards Philadelphia, and the wind where I was at was about going like northwest. So I mean, you're talking about opposite. This is opposite wind directions. Um, yeah, um, uh, you can see some of that zipper pattern right there. Um, 
you know, like you you just like that's not that's not natural at all. Like these little localized phenomena, like that's just like you look up these things on the actual natural ones. All right, and and they don't look anything like that. The actual natural ones, but this is a company that I live near that makes triggers for gun. They're they're a military industrial complex company that uh, leeches off of these contracts that the government gives the Defense Department gives out to build weapons and murder machines um, these guys make triggers and like I think it's like something some kind of like a thing for sights for the for uh, rifles and stuff and um, I you know I, I wasn't in the army I didn't I wasn't dumb enough when I was 18 year old I, I, I wasn't I wasn't that dumb to get brainwashed into thinking that I should go overseas and fucking shoot people and be a murderer like you know, I w even at that age, I don't know how the fuck anyone at 18 year old can can be that dumb and brainwashed into wanting to fucking go murder people. You know, like I was a I would, I, I did aerospace stuff. I have a brain. I'm intelligent. You know, I don't uh, I'm not one of these guys that's just gonna fucking you know someone someone says go kill people. You know, I'm not just gonna fucking do it. You know. Even even and that was when I didn't even know that 9/11 was. I thought at that when I first went in. I thought 9/11 was an actual thing, you know. I thought it was a true. I thought it was a true thing, and I still wasn't dumb enough to get fucking be all gung ho and go murder some children and fucking, you know, brain, you know, other other brainwash people. Uh, this is me on the way home. Uh, this is where the fog started to end, and uh, you can see the natural, the naturalness of the sky behind it. You know that. This blue phenomena, right? This weird blue thing. That's the, That's what the sky should look like. Uh, you can see them patching. You know, they're they're just stacking it on, just stacking that stuff on. Of course, of course, there's giant gi giant chemtrails right at the edge of these things. I mean, that's one of the most obvious things. Um, this is me up on my roof. Uh, this is when all, like the fog rolled out. Oh, isn't that amazing? Look at what the sky turns into. When they're not they're not pumping out these giant fog machines, these uh, you know giant heating pads, and you know what's funny is I was out there reading um, uh, reading a book and uh, you know what people need to notice is that when those when those heating pads are gone, right? And some because the thing is it's not all the time for me when they're when they're gone, but when they're gone, it starts to get cold again, right? And those heating pads, that heating pad was gone at 2 p.m. I went outside to read a book, and it started getting cold at 2 at 2 o'clock. Started getting cold like it was winter, all like you know, like it should be. And I was like, oh, you know what? Uh, this is normal weather, and that's what happens with normal weather. It gets cold, you know, during the winter time. And this is the moon. Fuck the moon. I don't, I don't like the moon. There's something wrong with that thing. I don't really, I don't understand what's going on with that. There's too many. Th bad things with the moon. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, I like the sun. And that's just creepy. Uh, it's a full moon. But, uh, it gets, it's, it gets cold out when those heating pads are gone. You know, and people, do, does anyone notice that? Like, I was out reading my book, and I'm like, oh my god, it's at 2 o'clock where it should be peak temperature. I need to put on a, a full-size hoodie. You know, when I was out riding my bike, I only had this, like, thin t-shirt, like a t-shirt, thin um, uh, like, uh, long sleeve shirt on, and that was it, you know, and that was at, like, it, and that was when I was done riding, I was at, like, one o'clock when I was done riding, and by two o'clock, all that fog was gone, it started getting cold again, when it should, when it should have been the hottest part of the fucking day, you know, <laughs> unbelievable, you know, people are just so stupid, so fucking stupid, it's really embarrassing to, you know, and like like I said, I, don't, I really don't think people. I don't think people are actually a lot of them are actually alive. I think they're just kind of like the, the like um the like how people view cattle. You know, cattle. It but I think cows are actually smarter than people because if there's some kind of danger around like animals, there's like a dangerous thing around them. They'll actually point out the danger to each other. You know, they'll be like, "Watch out! That's a a, a, a snake." You know, they know that a snake is is dangerous, so they go away from it. Or they point and they point it out to all the others, you know. And uh 
and this is and people are just so stupid that they suspend that instinct you know and th there's a plane right there you know doing a u-turn we we always you know I, I know tons of guys see this you know this is this is how obvious they make it you know they uh, they're so blatant with the spraying this is upper stratosphere uh spraying this is they're above the ozone layer on on uh for these guys and i don't even think a lot of these are planes i think these are these are some drones or some kind of um, advanced, um, advanced, uh, aerial things, who knows, uh, maybe those, like, uh, th those crazy looking spacecraft that they have, you know, that they're touting as, a uh, as, a uh, you know, space stuff, but it's just, like, these super advanced drones, um, you can see it, like, this is way up there, the, when they're up a stratospheric spraying, like, these, uh, there's a sun going down, it's literally, you can see it literally leaving right there, it's pretty cool. Don't get to see the sun go down that often with the uh, amount of poison that they're spraying up in the sky and fogging everything up. But that's it. And there's my, there's my African violet. Uh, very cool flower that's uh, starting to bloom. Or it's been blooming for a while. Uh, 